Men in Black International is the newest film in the Men in Black franchise. It's a sequel slash soft reboot to the series as a whole. It does expand on some characters that have existed before and it does have certain things that were in the previous film so it definitely doesn't feel like it's completely redoing the entire story. This film was directed by F. Gary Gray, the first time Barry Sonnenfeld hasn't directed one of these films, and this one stars Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson as two new agents who are part of the Men in Black. Tessa Thompson's character Molly has been looking for them for many years due to an incident that happened when she was a child, and she's finally found them and can't wait to be an agent. She wants to bring her expertise to the entire agency. And Agent H is an established agent who's been there for a very long time, who is treated as one of the great the men in black have ever had. However, when a new case comes up and a grave threat to the universe is on display, they have to come together, overcome their differences, and somehow try to save everybody. I really like F. Gary Gray. I think he's a really cool director. I really like a lot of his films. And I think over here he has something which is, for the most part, fun. It's a very entertaining film. There are things about it which I do think could have been better. There are definitely aspects of it, but it's definitely a fun movie. It's enjoyable. It's overall, however, fine. One of the biggest reasons the film suffers, we'll talk about it later, is the writing. But before we get into that, I do like a lot of things that do help keep this movie afloat, like the chemistry between Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. We've seen these two actors before in Thor Ragnarok, and I think over here they continue to keep that camaraderie alive. I think they did a really great job. And I think that they were easily the best parts of this entire film. They were carrying it for a lot of it, and they were having a lot of fun in these roles, which is something I really appreciated. The film does expand on the world of Men in Black, which was nice to see. There are things now which are different from what we've seen in the previous movies. We see some new characters, some new species. There's a character named Pawnee, played by Kumail Nanjiani, who was hilarious and easily one of my favorite parts of the film. And I really like that the new ideas they brought in are regarding other things and other elements that exist. There's a particular thing that's been added in the headquarters now, which I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I, that, I, I gotta admit, that, that was pretty awesome. And for the most part, the action and the visuals are also really, really great. They did a really good job with them. There's some very creative action sequences that I was also a huge fan of. And they did they did leave an impact i will say that they were still fun and entertaining to watch the problem with men in black international is more the storytelling and the writing i thought the dialogue for the most part was a bit weak there were lots of lines which i didn't really like uh, there were lots of dialogues which were very predictable lines you'd heard 10,000 times before a couple of lines which seemed out of nowhere there's a line in particular that even my friend next to me was like why was that there and I agree with him. There's this one weird, weird reaction a character has, which I was like, that doesn't make any sense. The other thing is the storytelling. It's pretty predictable. It's a pretty by the number story, which you've probably seen 10,000 times at this point. That's definitely in this film. So if you're someone looking for something a little more unique, this film might disappoint you a little bit. That being said, there is still some fun to be had. And if you're going in for the vibe of the original films and trying to see if that's still present in this movie at any point in time that's definitely there nostalgia is a big factor and i think this film does a good job in not having it all be nostalgic i feel like that was something that could have killed this film and the most part it's trying to do its own thing which is something i did appreciate it's not trying to bandwagon off the fact that it's based on a franchise that has already had three movies and is very popular it is instead trying to do its own thing for the most part that is something I do give credit to. I think it's it's good that they're trying to do that. There's also a nice little story set up with Chris Hemsworth's character because there is a past to it which you're sort of wondering about for the most part, but they don't quite delve into it as deeply as I thought they would. I wish they'd add a little more to it. There's a character, for instance, that also shows up at one point who has a connection to Tessa Thompson earlier on in the film, and I thought that could have gone somewhere a little more, but it doesn't quite do that and I thought that was a little also slightly incomplete tangent story tangent but that was nice it was still tastefully handled and there are certain other moments which I really was appreciative of including one action sequence that takes place in a castle or a fortress actually that was amazing and it was also really well edited there's a nice um, callback to another action sequence that happened recently, which had a very similar editing technique. 
but that was really cool and it was pretty meticulously done too so yeah for the most part i would say it's really enjoyable it's really some of the story stuff that i wish could have been done better i thought some depth was definitely lost it's also not quite as funny as the first three men in black films i think those were definitely a little more better on comedic timing the chops are still there chris hemsworth is really funny and i think he's a really great comedic actor and so is tessa thompson i think the jokes could have landed a little better though some of them some jokes went on a bit longer than they should have but overall i would still recommend it so watch it it's fun it's fun and that's yeah that's a pretty good thing yeah that that that's it i'm gonna give men in black international a 6.5 out of 10. it's fine it's fine it's enjoyable you'll get what you want that's yeah that's sometimes that's more than you can ask for Thank you very much for watching, guys. Look forward to more reviews very soon. If you like this, please do subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the movies.